Master Solar. Master Solar has been out on one or two rabbit shooting expeditions. He is going brilliantly. I'm really pleased with what he's putting in. But on those rabbit shooting trips, he's getting just a little bit, I'll go just a little wider here, and uh, don't bother blowing that whistle quite like that. I could do this without you, you know. Tiny little things, but we're looking for perfection, especially as I think he might be a competitive dog, and I'm trying to tighten him right up, probably to a situation that has a higher standard than a lot of you would ask for. But this is the type of little exercise you might do on a Sunday morning when you've got half an hour to spare. You just run through a few things and just every time he only half listens to the whistle, correct him. You blow the stop whistle. If he doesn't stop immediately and sit up like that, you might just kind of look here, you. You stop a bit sharper than that until he starts saying, oh, I see you mean this. So I retightening everything up, checking out the brake linings. Now, he's had plenty of game and stuff. He likes a bit of game. Now, with a pigeon here, he might think he's going to get this as a retrieve, but we're going to throw that over there by that broom and he's to try and remember that we're not sending him for it although he's got his foot on the pedal you can see with his, with his foot up there going oh, just tell me will you just tell me I'm going to pop these on and the launcher and then I'm going to give him a hunt up I should give him a fired retrieve of the dummy launcher hopefully that he gets a good mark on and check that he stops dead on the bang if not there'll be a little correction and trouble and then I hope to be in a position to send him back for the pigeon before he goes for the dummy so it's a reminder that everything's on our terms good boy now, I wouldn't start him off obviously as I've said before towards that pigeon otherwise you think ah that's gonna be mine so I'll start him this way gone away gone away You can see the experience here, how he started to learn to really hunt for his dinner. Good boy. Come on, good boy. Come on. Good boy. Every little pip, you listen to me. Don't forget, and more running on the spot for a dog that's got plenty of go. You might think it's a waste of time, but I tell you what, if you insist on this dog, listening to everything you want. When you get out in the shooting field, boy, he's gone away. When you get out in the shooting field, it'll pay you dividends. He knows who's in charge, it's the partnership. Good oh boy, he's gone away. Good boy. Always the hand signal, listen to me. You point out, tell him where to go. He watches then for something Come on, he watches for you to tell him something. <laughs> Come on, here, good boy. Sit up. Sit up. He was perfectly all right. He stood and watched. He has a habit of standing and watching. And as yet, he's not been unsteady from it. I would prefer that he sat down. So each time I get the opportunity, I encourage him to sit right down. And he's going, all right, now I know where that dummy is. This is where he gets full, because we send him for the pigeon. Solar, fetch. Now he's winded this, but he's waiting for me to tell him to go on. I know he knows it's there. But thankfully, there's a little bit of control over him. He's saying, well, would you just tell me? I can go look at him looking at it. Hola. Good boy. Come on. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Come here. Good boy. Now, there's lots of... Like that pigeon there, when he's going, right, OK, so I've winded it. The wind's right. I know it's there. A lot of people, if the dog had dived in and picked it, would go, oh, well, there you are, he knew. But I'm looking for that degree of control where I'm saying, right, okay, so I know you know, you know that I know that you know. Now we'll push the button. Just that little bit more control. 
Now we'll go for this dummy, Dola. Uh, too clever for half. <laughs> he couldn't even see where that was. <laughs>